Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But, uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. I shall hope to do business with you again. That's been a pleasure. This place is seen. Rebellion. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe. But if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful? Yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't... No. Very well. Hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me first. Revelio. Rock has fooled you all. Rebellion. Yeah. 
Revelio. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Incendio! Rebellion. Incendio. Repairo. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Levioso, Accio. Revelio. Repairer. Incendio. Revelio. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. <clears throat> Incendio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like Revelio. Levioso, Accio, Reparo, Incendio, Revelio. Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. <sighs> the moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No. We are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Revelio. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. 
Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Wonder who lives here? This looks intriguing. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Rebellion. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, 
but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is Muggleborn, sealed her fate. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. The Dementals won't harm us now. Still, be careful. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementals. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Careful around, Anne. She's been here a lot longer than the rest. If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, Monk. Don't accuse her. Little you should know our wards. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. What is that I hear? Perhaps death. In all its mercy, oh, 
approaches. No one at school is going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. What are you trying to say? That the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Field! Field! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault? in some ruins, near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. I should investigate. Rebellion. <laughs> Abandoned long ago, no doubt. <laughs> this must be the place Anne told me about. One's been here for ages. Revelio. Incendio. Me, Jack. Akio. You couldn't outwit me, Jack. Door. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Incendium. Revelio. Rebellion. A 
note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. These rocks have seen better days. <coughs> This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
What are you up to now? Revelio. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Revelio. Repair. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Seems I scared off a little. Just should have took less time, is all I was saying. Revelio. Adventure, are we? Hogsmeade, here I come. 
Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. A wise decision. Thank you. See you again. Farewell for now. Travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Here's a pleasant surprise. Levioso, Accio! Rebellion. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. Rebellion. 